Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, I'm gonna show you how to make the best Brussels sprouts in the entire universe. These are fried Brussels sprouts, and then we've got a sort of a sweet and sour dressing to put on top of them with some fried shallots. It's so amazing, they're gonna knock your pants off, and then you're gonna be really embarrassed, but you're not even gonna care because those Brussels sprouts are so dang good. <music> Okay, so I've got about a pound of Brussels sprouts here. I've already trimmed most of them, but I will show you how to do it. So I just, I just like, they come in this mesh bag and I just like rinse them off in the bag and then just trim off the little tiny bit of the end. And this is really aesthetics. I mean, if you were in a hurry, you could totally skip that step. And then maybe one like this, I might just cut it in half. But if it was much bigger than that, then cut it into quarters, and then you'd go that way again. And then I've just got them laying out here on a cloth to absorb any excess water because we are going to deep fry these, and the drier the better. It'll be, it'll just work a lot better for you. So we can kind of just roll it up. Of course, I washed this cloth first. Pretty sure I did. Okay, we'll set that there. And then I've got a shallot, and a shallot is kind of like a red onion pretty much just cuts up the exact same way as an onion. It's a little bit milder. This is about as big as they come. So it's kind of nice when you want, just maybe you just want a little bit of onion and you don't need to cut open a whole one. But for some reason, even though they're small, they're kind of expensive, kind of a rip off. You might be able to use um, a leek instead of this or even a really thinly sliced little bit of red onion. So beautiful. And now I just want to cut this into really thin rings. We can just kind of leave these out to get it air dry a little bit, break up those rings. And we'll turn to the stove and put together our sauce. So this is some water, add some rice vinegar. If you've ever been to Austin and gone to the restaurant Uchiko and were brilliant enough to think to order the Brussels sprouts. Um, this is kind of a ripoff of theirs. I mean, theirs has like 80 different ingredients or something. That's with some sugar. I'm just gonna get this dissolved along with about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, so we're gonna bring this up to like a, a hefty simmer. We've got it over a high heat now and let it cook for about two minutes. We're gonna let it simmer for about two minutes and let it reduce somewhat. So. All right, you can see this looks a little thicker. It's uh, sort of a darker golden color. It's been about three minutes, I guess. I'm gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. Let that just cook for a few seconds and then turn off the heat and then add some fish sauce. So this makes it not vegetarian, but it's so tasty. Um, I don't know if you could maybe just add a little extra salt um, some soy sauce. There's not really a great vegetarian substitute for fish sauce, but okay, awesome. I'm just gonna set this aside and pull my oil over, which is hot enough, miraculously. That all worked out timing-wise. Great, so I've got this to 375. Take this out for now. And we put in the Brussels sprouts. So I'm just gonna pile up a few on my guy here. Ow! And step the f back, okay. <laughs> okay. So, it cooks really fast. Just try to drain off as much of the oil as you can and plop them into a bowl over here. Okay, try this again. A little bit less violent. Okay, good deal. So last time I did this in my walk and it was not as scary as this. I should just do it in a walk all the time. Okay, this is gonna explode again, but we have to do it. So I've got a handful of these scallion or shallot rings and I'm gonna use this this time so you can't see what's going on in there, but Maybe I won't burn my face. Hey, look, it worked. I'm gonna let these continue to get 
really crispy. And I'm going to go over here to my Brussels sprouts. They're still nice and warm. Just pour on about half of this for now. Oh my gosh. Yay. These are going to be good. Good, good, good. And then toss it around with a little fork. So these are going to be a nice little crispy topping. And then the crowning touch, a little bit of fresh cilantro. And you're ready to serve your people the best Brussels sprouts they will ever eat. Honest to God. And the most dangerous, probably. These Brussels sprouts could kill you. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe so that you get notified whenever I release a new video. And also check out my roasted Brussels sprouts recipe. I'll post a link to that if you are just like on a Brussels sprouts kick or something. But um, meanwhile, I'm gonna taste this. That's a hell yeah. Well, I hope you like this recipe. Please uh, leave a comment below if you have a question or anything like that. And printable recipes are always available at hylacooking.com. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.